You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Live. We're going to talk about tight end Tim Tebow, our offensive weapon, Tim Tebow, and why he did not actually get an invite to what they call tight end university. It is a tight end camp, a tight end get together, so to speak, with, I'm a 49ers fan, the really damn good George Kittle, and just retired, also a damn good tight end, Greg Olson. They did not invite Tim Tebow to this camp, and they have given an explanation as to why that is, and it does make some sense. We've made no bones about the fact that we are rooting for Tim Tebow. Do I believe it's a long shot that Tebow will make the roster as a tight end? Yes, but could Tim Tebow make the roster as quote-unquote an offensive weapon, a hybrid, a Swiss Army knife, a little bit of fullback, a little bit of tight end, a little bit of running back, a little bit of quarterback? Yeah, I said it. Uh, Could that happen? Yeah, it could. And uh, I like the explanation that George gave and the – and that uh, Greg Olson gave. I've got no problems with it. I don't see it as hating on Tim Tebow at all. And very quickly, before we get to that, make sure you go over to Spotify, Apple Podcast, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts, and subscribe to Black and White Sports, the podcast. That's right. We're really growing over there, trying to get that podcast out, and all the audio from... Our videos do go over to this Apple podcast uh, and Spotify and anywhere you get your podcasting. So, Jaguars Tim Tebow not invited to tight in you. George Kittle explains the reason for that decision, as does Greg Olson. By the way, there's Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow wants to be an NFL tight end, but he isn't one yet. Despite all the pomp and circumstance of the former quarterback coming out of retirement, to sign with the Jacksonville Jaguars to try to hand try his hand at a position he once refused to transition to, the fact remains he hasn't yet made the team. So when the list of invitees was being constructed for the famed tight end university in Nashville, Tennessee, led by all pro tight end George Kittle and retired pro bowler Greg Olson, Tebow didn't get a call. They both recently explained why they opted to forego bringing Tim Tebow, making it clear it's nothing personal. Quote, so nothing against Tim Tebow, but I found it hard to invite. I guess it should say find it hard to invite him, but that's not what they wrote. I wish nothing but the best for Tim Tebow, and I hope he has a fantastic season playing tight end. But it's hard for me not to invite a backup tight end on, let's say, the New York Giants, as opposed to inviting a guy who just started playing tight end position because we do have limited spots. Kittle said via David Bonilla of 49erswebzone.com, I wish I could make it so every NFL tight end can come so it's accessible to everybody, but we tried to do this year. We wanted to pay for everything for all tight ends that come to kind of make it a special event for all tight ends. Kittle went on to note, this year's class was originally expected to be around 20 guys, but it ballooned, it ballooned to 47 and then more than 50, which led the hotel they're staying in to run out of rooms to accommodate them. And while Kittle was more PR friendly with his explanation regarding Tebow, Olsen cut straight to the point. I actually like his explanation a lot better, if you want to know the truth. If he's on a roster this year and he plays tight end, we would love to have him, Olsen said. We would love to work with him. Once he's a, officially in a tight end, we would love to work with him. Tim Tebow is participating in Jaguars minicamp as one of six tight ends, with the other five having dedicated their career to the position, and such have just. Dis- a decided edge on him leading into training camp. 
He'll have to hit the ground running against in a battle against, and he goes off and names a bunch of names. Of the group, T- Tebow isn't the only one reuniting with Urban Meyer. Luke Farrell is the team's rookie fifth-round pick out of Ohio State who spent time being coached by Meyer before the latter retired from collegiate ranks following the 2018 season after a controversial year with the school. I actually think Luke Farrell is going to be one of the tight ends on the team. T- Tebow's competition also expands, extends to the actual contract on Manhurts, and that is Chris Manhurts, who signed a two-year $6.65 million deal in free agency this offseason. Uh, I can tell you I'm more than likely he'll make the team as tight end, too, coming in as a free agent. Additionally, it's key to note Manhurts did receive an invite from Kittle and Olsen, the first Jaguar to ever be in attendance. And it goes on to talk about uh, Tim Tebow and his time with the Broncos. We all know about that story. So do I have a problem with the fact that they decided to not invite Tim Tebow? No, he's never been on an active roster as a tight end, and I understand that. Um, And they invited a guy that signed a free agent contract with the Jacksonville Jaguars that has been a tight end on a roster before, an actual tight end. They, he got the invite. Um, again, who knows if Tim Tebow is going to make the team. Has he been making a good showing for himself in many camps? Yes, he has. He's caught a couple of touchdown passes. And um, he's you know there was a story come out, did a video on it the other day, where he's making a strong impression on people in training camp. But again, I think there's a lot of reasons why you take a chance on Tebow. One, you want him involved with culture. Two, he played quarterback in Urban Meyer's system. Makes sense to have him in the building with a young, number one overall draft pick, big-time investment. Look, Tim Tebow and Trevor Lawrence already like each other a lot. They're brought together by their uh, religious beliefs, and that's a big tie. Okay? And it takes the pressure and the focus off of Trevor Lawrence. It's kind of a brilliant move, if you want to know the absolute truth, by Meyer. And again, we don't know that uh, Tim Tebow will make the team, if he does, as purely a tight end. He could be a jack-of-all-trades. So, uh, I have no problems with that. Tell me what you think, Black and White Live fans. Peace. I am out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.